Hey guys, welcome back. It's Grim Reaper coming at you for another video for Ace Shadows. Today we're actually going to do a showcase and I've been meaning to do this for a while and I think this champion is definitely really good. So, and he's changed a lot on my account. So I've already done a video on him in Hydra. I kind of just wanted to show you where everywhere where I'm actually using him currently right now. And just to kind of show off this build and... Yeah, it's changed a lot of things, a lot of dungeons and stuff like that. So um, I'm not able to show you him in Faction Wars, unfortunately, because I've already done my keys. Um, however, I can show you everywhere else. So first of all, we're going to start off with the Menatar, and then we'll take him around account. I'm only going to show you certain uh, dungeons and stuff like that that I use him in. So... Uh, and then we're going to take him into arena as well to see if he can do any work in the arena. Uh, and if you guys want to watch out that uh, Hydra video, the, the build is slightly different. Uh, I will ping that at the end of this video, uh, the showcase on him. However, um, please let me know down in the comments where you are using your Gina. And has he changed your account? Are you enjoying having him on your account, uh, did you get Gina, or did you miss out for any reason, or anything like that, um, so yeah, definitely a really good fusion, for me, probably one of the best, anyway, let's get into this video, uh, so we're going to take him into here first, so as you can see, we got Coronar, Ghostborn, and uh, Gina, and then it's just, it's a pretty simple run, in all fairness, so bear in mind, I don't have any limited FRS rate going on just yet, um, be just doing our thing in here really so yep yeah, probably could make this a little bit faster now i'm thinking about it with uh kaiba, kaiba but uh yeah not, not too bad overall so yeah so as you can see pretty damn quick he will take out these mobs he brings cc honestly he's just perfect isn't he like 30 seconds two champions uh ghostborn can be replaced with a um aoe defense down or aoe defense down a weekend but bear in mind gina does bring a aoe weak weak weaken and ghostborn doesn't weak it on an aoe so it's kind of nice to have um so i know you can just train three people at the same time with masteries and just getting fully booked which is really damn useful where you don't have a lot of time in Ratio Legends, I don't use him in Ice Column. He has come into my Spider Ten team, so the the build is very similar to this. Um, and again, uh, quite consistent, quite good, and uh, not too shabby. He's good affinity as well, so I don't need to worry about him weak hitting or anything like that. Um, I do have a Relentless on the Royal Guard, which is not great for that, but it's generally my Hydra uh world guard anyway so it is what it is there will be the nuke and then we just wait for the extra turn for our mr kaima mm -mm -mm. when you're ready Finish off his spider. It is normally about 30 seconds. I believe it's because I've been messing around with my... Um, I've been messing around with my Mephala. That it's uh, been a bit slower. So normally it's about 30 seconds generally. Uh, hey ho, but we still use him in here. So um, that's quite good. Don't use him in Dragon. Definitely could use him in Dragon though. Don't use him in Sandow, we can use him now, we do use him in Fire Knight. So we all run him in Fire Knight. This team's not 100%, it's about 90% uh, consistent. Uh, I've seen it, um, I've seen it uh, been denied a few times or killed on the bus. So uh, generally just need a bit more on the champions, a bit more damage or a bit more... Um, a bit more stuff like swipeability, more bit more phantom touch because phantom touch is really helps, but the lower level phantom touch makes it inconsistent because it doesn't always proc. So, 
uh, does make it a bit tricky. But as you can see, we're getting through this fairly fine. Uh, the first waves are not really worried about. I haven't really done a team uh, on this, but there is quite a few videos on this team. So this is why I haven't really made a video myself on it, if I'm honest. Um, you know, but it's fairly fast. It's like two minutes, uh, generally a lot faster than it was. I'm uh, doing like what finite six on uh, 10 minutes so no sorry finite six on about four minutes and i was doing finite 10 in about five or six minutes which is a bit long uh, even for me i don't mind long times like i think for me two minutes is like long but i don't want any longer than that really uh especially with how hard this boss is I will take this at the moment. So as you can see, we get through the boss. It's going to be a little bit slower because we are streaming in the day. Uh, and it does take a bit longer when you are recording. I do love the animations of his A2. I think it's brilliant. So I'm a really big fan of that. If you do have a G9 and you're not using him for uh, Finite, I don't know what you're doing. This is where his bread and butter comes. I was really surprised actually with how much damage he could do in um in Hydra just being in general having a single nuke on that A2. So I was pretty impressed with him in the Hydra run. Uh, I generally do feel that he will be able to allow me to beat my personal best in Hydra. So as you can see uh, with the reset and stuff like that we've been able to uh, basically finish this boss off quite quickly. Uh, done it within 50 turns, so we'll take that. Um, so 4.1 million damage and then quite a bit of healing there. So yeah, very happy with that. Definitely triples the damage with Cold Heart. Now, if you are a newer player and, and you're trying to uh, maximize with your gear, maybe you don't have crazy gear, maybe you're more gear limited than most uh, or stuff like that, then you want to use them in multiple players. If you maybe you're not a platinum um platinum pusher and you just want a general defense nuka, he can generally do that job as well if he's built correctly. So um ideally his masteries are not uh right now the masteries that he's got is not actually built for arena. But generally I'll test him out for gold five and he generally did a great job. So I couldn't really complain with that. So um, yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with it myself. There we are. There's the boss on this. I do have a video on this. So I'll pick this at the end as well. You can go check that one out. But again, g -Nut coming in with 2.5 mil damage. So that is everything there in PVC. I don't actually run him in a... Twin Towers because I'd have to change his uh, speed a lot. Oh, my apologies. But we will try him out in Arena right now. So we have increased defense to try and help us do more damage. We do have Kaima and Warlords as well. And this is general, generally good for Gold 5. And a fairly good... Um, way of using him i suppose if you wanted to maximize from it now i know you probably don't have all these champions that i have but if you have increased defense which before the life bane has he's still got fairly good survivability beating defense base which is better than um better than uh most so right so then attack base nukas right so uh, maybe you have a Yannicka or a or Epic or Rare and you can generally wipe out teams quite well. And if you have a Kaima, that's even better because you could do a reset, right? So that's looking all daisy. Uh, let's try to take on this Ursula team, which is a bit more tanky. And see what we can do. So as you can see, we do get sheeped which makes this way more tricky um so i we'll just have to wait for this uh warlord should keep this fairly good anyway so and keep it fairly safe for us 
There's the A3. And then the sheep is doing the sheep dance. Oh, I love it when sheep procs. Makes it so fun. Mm, but you can see his even his single abilities does quite a bit of damage and it does generally uh, kind of work. So for gold five, um, for gold five, I generally think you've got a fairly good little uh, nuker hitting in arena as well. I wouldn't say he's amazing, but he does have an AOE, which is generally useful. And he brings a decreased attack as well, so that will help people do less damage to you and your team as well. That's something to kind of bear in mind in. With what farm this in about a minute, so it's not too slow. A fairly tanky team. There you are. Lovely, jobly. Um, again, another one here. This will be the last one in Arena. I'm not going to showcase them too much. But generally, uh, this is where... I don't, don't use them in Arena myself, obviously. But if you wanted to use them in Arena, for sure you could. So, the reason I don't use them in Arena, I have Baron. And uh, Turbo and Raiders. Mm -mm -mm. We just wait. Just wait. Patience is key. Mm, and Duchess is quite of a dicky, tricky uh, champion to take down. So, yeah. Right, there we are. Um, obviously, you can build better masteries on him as well. If you wanted to, um, but he generally did quite a good job there for gold five farming. That's the thing, right? Is it's gold five farming stuff like that, so uh, it's not too shabby to have him in there. So his build, then um, we do want accuracy for most of the content, especially like uh, Shogun, the Menel farming because the weekend's nice, and the finite for the freeze. And for arena for the AOE weekend, so you could do more damage on the reset. Uh, we have a defense banner, but you can use accuracy as well. Uh, we have critical damage with accuracy, and also should be looking for defense. Uh, and then you have defense ring, looking for the HP substat for more swability, but also defense substat as well. And then we got speed boots for critical rate, critical damage. Because you want to make sure he's critical capped. We do have accuracy chest, so you can use accuracy banner, and then go with a defense chest with critical rate, speed, and critical damage. We have critical damage with uh, critical rate, send it level one, uh, speed, and defense substat, and some accuracy again. And then we have a four piece lethal, which will allow me to do 25% uh, ignore critical damage and brings 10% critical rate as well. So it allows me to look for other stats to damage him or to damage uh, other people. Um, so we do have a uh, critical rate speed defense here. So that's like S tier piece. We have a quad critical rate uh, speed and critical damage. And then we have a critical damage, critical rate and speed and HP substat. Now these are P versus E masteries, I suppose. Uh, we've got Giant Slayer as a tier six. Uh, Master Hexer is also no important mastery because he does have the chance to stand the decrease attack and the weaken for three turns instead of two. Uh, Evil Eyes always nice extra turn meter. Uh, cycle of Violence for the A two or the A three. Uh, and then just pump in accuracy as possible. Life Drinker is super, super good for Fire Knight. And for Hydra to able to him to heal his way back up for when he uh, does the damage and stuff like that. So generally that's why we have all these masteries. You could also do the same as well with Cycle of Violence if you wanted. Um, so there you are then. There is my G-Nut uh, conclusion. I think overall S tier champion, it could be used in P versus E and P versus P versus P um, on a very um, budgetable team if needed to be. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of him in Arena. Uh, have you even considered it or even tried him in it? I know if you take someone like a Royal Guard or something like that, then they don't get far at all. So yeah, generally quite happy with this champion. And I wish I had him on my free to play because it would have made my life very easy. Otherwise, I don't have it. 
Anyway, this is for me probably the most account changing fusion I have ever done in Rayshard Ledgers on my account. Uh, it generally just speeds everything up and has multiple builds and its kit is overall for me a 10 out of 10. Uh, anyway guys, I have been Green Reaper. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.